Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to clear that tough ladybug room of the haze lab in Grounded. So a couple of things right up front. Before you get going, there's a couple of things you're going to need. First and foremost, you're going to want to have a gas mask on. You see that right there? You're going to want to have a gas mask crafted. If you don't know how to craft one of these, make sure that you... Uh, I actually have a video that I posted on the same channel on how to do a stink bug farm. So you can craft these easily. I recommend actually having two of them. There's a very good reason for that. You might die in that room. Now let's say that you die in that room. That's not a good thing because it's in the haze. So if you die in that room and you drop all your gear, including your gas mask, what's going to happen is you're going to respawn and you're not going to have a gas mask to get in there to get your backpack. So you want to make sure that you have an extra gas mask, gas, gas mask made so that if you die and respawn, you can put that on or run back in and get your stuff, no problem. So, first and foremost, two gas masks, one to take with you, one to keep back at home. After that, another thing I would recommend is to have some good heals on you. I like to have the fuzz on the rocks, the smoothies ready to go. Take one of those before I go into the room, get some extra health going. That's very important. The other very important thing is that you need to have a brat burst grenade if you have not opened up that maze or the uh, the haze lab yet. You're gonna have to have a brat burst grenade to make that happen. If you don't know how to make that happen, very simple. Craft yourself. Let me actually go up to that room where I have my armor. But you need to craft for yourself a full uh, ant set, red ant set. If you have the red ant uh, armor made. You can go into the red ant hill over here somewhere and you can go in there and you can get um, the red ant eggs, like the little baby eggs. Use the baby eggs and the fungal pods to craft the brat burst grenade. So you can run in there, the soldier ants won't attack you until you pick up the eggs. I reckon grabbing a couple and then everything's gonna aggro on you and you just sprint out as fast as you can, You're taking those eggs with you. Take it back craft the grenade you're good to go so in terms of what you're gonna need gas mask grenade if you haven't opened the door yet and heals very very important i uh i've leveled up the i like the mosquito needle i know it's not the meta thing to use but i think it looks cool i think it feels good i like the um health steal effect on it so i definitely bring a uh, mosquito beak with me to repair it if it gets low but i've got mine up to level four this is a fresh playthrough i started a few days ago doesn't want to go through the game again. But anyways, so that's what you're going to need. I recommend having a shield as well. The last recommendation before we get going, I recommend that you go in third person. Don't go in first person, go in third person. Because when you fight the uh, ladybug in there and you've got the fungal pods that are exploding, having the extra uh, visibility is huge. Because if you're in first person, you can't see if there's an exploding uh, fungal bomb right next to you. Okay, but if you're here, you can just see that on the side of the screen as you're parrying and fighting the ladybug. You're going to see the um, the fungal explosions going on around you. So you know where to step. It's so much harder to play this specific encounter in first person. I don't recommend that you do it. So make sure that you're in third person. All right, let's get cranking. So in terms of where you're going to want to go, there's two entrances into this uh, lab. One is through the pond over by the uh, broken pipe. I don't recommend you use that way because it's so much more complicated. You're going to have to have uh, like a bubble helmet and a rebreather and an underwater uh, bone dagger to cut through all the stuff to get your to make your way into here. It's so much more complicated. I've seen videos where people recommend that you do that. I just don't understand why you would do that intentionally unless you, you know, have a base under the picnic table. And that's just the, your preferred route in and you've already cleared it. Sure. But otherwise, this marker right here is where I like to start, okay? I actually have an outpost over here because I like to get mosquito beaks, I like to farm stink bugs, so I have an outpost built over here uh, right next to the red ant hill. So I'm gonna just kind of come straight west um, through my outpost and then come down to this marker here right next to this stone wall. There is a wolf spider that spawns and sleeps kind of underneath the rocks over here, very easily avoided at nighttime though. So we're gonna come straight west to this marker Come here, and then we're going to go straight south through a bunch of rocks and um, and then cut over into the uh, entrance to the lab. That's my preferred route to take. Let's get moving. This here is my outpost. I use this to farm stink bug parts because they all spawn up on the hill. I just go up to the top and shoot them with arrows. 
So if you're ever looking for a great way to farm stink bugs, this is the place to do it. But now I'm going to cut across to my marker. If you need bug parts, a lot of bugs end up dead here, even stink bugs from time to time. Make sure you're looking at the tops of the grass stalks. Because if they start moving around, you know there's a spider on the loose. But right now he's asleep. She's snoozing. Oh, she might be over there. I actually see that moving over there. She might be over there. But as long as she stays over there, it's, it's far enough away that's not a problem. Shall we head in? And now you're going to be in this like sort of canyon here in between the rocks. Head straight through. There's a couple of little valleys you can drop down in that have marble and quartzite and um, plenty of fungal pods if you need to farm those. But I'm not looking for those right now. The entrance to the lab is uh, just on the other side of this rock. So if you've, if you've already opened the door to the lab, you can just dash right to it. If you haven't opened it yet, it might take you a second to just kill the mites and whatnot. But once you come out this crack, it's just going to be over here to your slight right. So if you haven't opened the door yet, you're going to get this symbol that says requires explosive. In which case... Gonna equip your brought burst grenade. Drop it right at the front of the door. Blow it up. And you can strut on in. You use the biometric scanner here to open the door. And once you're in, you can actually take your gas mask off. So if your other gear is higher level, like in my case, I've got a level five ladybug helmet ready to go. So now we are in, baby. You're officially in. So the this is sort of like a tough checkpoint, I think, for a lot of people because this uh, ladybug room can be a real challenge. But make sure that you pick up everything that's in here. You got some bandages, some free heals. You've got a uh, quartzite. So you're gonna head down the tunnel here. I should have listened to her when she now. I will have nothing you're gonna to have to fight some of these tazy boys. They go down pretty easy. Make sure you harvest the science off of them, though. We're all a bunch of but you can see in there we got some exploding weevils. Oh, don't look at me like that. Bait them into exploding and then you just back up. No problem. Bait them, back up. Bait them, back up. Okay. This is the fun part. Y'all ready? <laughs> there is more of the lab over here. You're gonna want to have your level 2 axe ready to go to cut these to bits. The one in the middle is the hardest because it's surrounded by glass. These explosions really do hurt. Now, the fun part. We're gonna come in here. I recommend going and taking care of these things so they're not an issue. You're gonna follow the red light, come into the water, take a hard left. The other way into the lab, by the way, is down here. You can swim underwater. It's kind of a pain. I don't recommend using that route unless you're just already on that side of the map. But this is where things are gonna get interesting. <laughs> it would be really handy if you could make a respawn station right here, but you can't inside of a lab. But this is where things are gonna get a little bit dicey. So I recommend when you hit that switch, steal yourself when we go in that room there's going to be a ladybug and it's going to be the fungal kind it's going to shoot these bombs everywhere again please 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 go into third person trust me on this if you go first person you're not going to be able to see the bombs that land around you in third person you can see everything if you're on m and k you just hit u there you go and then it is go time I recommend trying to take this thing down as quickly as you can. Now there is a chance that you get um, some really nasty larva to spawn. If you're high level, then the larva will spawn. 
and that's no good. Or if you're playing multiplayer. So the first time I came in here, I was playing on a multiplayer level, and there were just um, tons and tons of these infected larvae, and they're the worst. So make sure, you know, you can always just like take a bandage, get your healing over time moving, take out these exploding uh, fungal pods that are around the room, and make sure you avoid those nasty bombs from the ladybug. Just keep running in circles. That's the best thing you can do. But you're gonna have these mites. The mites will auto despawn when you kill the ladybug, if I remember correctly. But uh, if you want, you can go ahead and take them out ahead of time. This fungal pod in that glass case is the hardest one to deal with because you gotta get past the, uh, the glass to do it. But you can like kite this out as long as you need to. You're really in no rush. You used to be able to cheese this room but they decided to make it so that you can't actually cheese it anymore. They shut the door, so you're locked in this room now when you come in. But stay in third person, take it slow, kite this out, you'll be fine. But now we've taken care of all the fungal pods and now we're just avoiding the bombs. And then when you decide to get aggro, you can, you can do that. I like to use the Weevil Shield. Obviously the Black Ant Shield is better, but I just started this playthrough, so I haven't gotten over there yet and crafted one. But the Weevil Shield will work just fine. Most important thing is to just not be in a rush. All right, find a nice window to get in there. Then I'm just gonna back up after taking some shots, getting some damage in on it. And then I'm gonna move back up when the opportunity presents itself. A <laughs> poor ladybug? I like Pete, he's so nice. He's so polite. All right, here we go. Here's an opportunity. If we get in there, we'll do some damage. You see how in third person, you can see where all these bombs go, so you're totally fine. I'm gonna get in there and do some damage to these mites. Try and get them out of the way. That's one down. Oh, I was a little closer to that bomb than I thought. But you don't have to have any special build here, honestly. You just gotta play patient, that's all. Just gotta play patient. You can take some damage, no problem. Now I've taken care of the mites, so it's just me and the ladybug at this point. You stay far enough away, she can't even shoot them far enough to touch you. Look, they're not even coming that close to me. I recommend definitely having the, uh, the upgrade that makes it so that you can uh, craft bandages for fewer resources. That's gonna come in handy. But the thing doesn't have a ton of health. I honestly could have played this more aggressive than this, but I'm just not in a rush. My wife's not home, you know. She's out picking up the kids from school, so I got time. <laughs> All right, so now we've got the thing to under half health. I like the mosquito beak because I get that life steal. It doesn't do the biggest damage. Like obviously if I was using the ant club, I'd be doing bigger damage here. Never get too greedy in this game though, you know? You just gotta play it slow and patient. It's almost dead. And there you have it. The ladybug is dead. Easy peasy. It was slow, it was steady, but it got the job done. But 
You're not finished yet. Okay. <laughs> In this room, there's a ton of freaking mites. Just a ton of see them all. See all those mites? And they can be a bit of a pain. If you have another Bratburst grenade that you want to use, uh, you got some spares. You can just chuck one in there and do a bunch of, of uh, AoE damage. It's really nice. I don't have another one on me. I've got another one at home, but I just left it there. So, um, obviously I'm a little thirsty, so I'm going to go ahead and top off my to thirst meter. Switch back to my sword. Use the biometric scanner, and then we're going to go in here. We're going to mess these things up. If you bottleneck them, then uh, you can you can damage more than one at a time. I recommend that you just keep strafing. Because it doesn't take stamina to strafe, but it makes them miss their shots, see? They're all missing. They haven't hit me with a single one yet! But now that they're all grouped up, see I'm hitting three at the same time. I like the Blade Master uh, mutation, so I can do these combos with the with the sword and use less stamina for it. But I'm also getting life steal during this fight. You know what I'm saying? And that comes in really handy with the mosquito the mosquito needle. And there you go. Now they're all dead. Harvest their gooey bits, get, get yourself some mite fuzz. Mite fuzz is great for making smoothies. And uh, there you have it. You're done. You did it. You cleared the room. I hope you found this helpful. I hope that now you feel a little more confident coming into this room. Best of luck to you. Thanks for watching the video, y'all. We'll see you in the next one.